Testimony began today in the trial of an Isanti hockey dad accused of a nearly 30-year-old murder. Jerry Westrom is charged in the stabbing death of Jeannie Ann Childs. Police first arrested him in February of 2019 after they say they linked his DNA from a genealogy website to the crime scene. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily was in court as the prosecution and defense laid out their cases. Jerry Westrom, here walking in the Hennepin County Government Center, is on trial for the murder of Jeannie Childs. The 35-year-old who worked as a prostitute was found stabbed to death in a South Minneapolis apartment in 1993. Police arrested Westrom 25 years later after announcing they tied him to the crime scene through DNA from a genealogy website. Investigators followed Westrom at a hockey game and fished out a napkin he threw in the trash to obtain his DNA. During opening statements, prosecutors told the jury Westrom's footprint matched a bloody footprint found at the crime scene. And they said his DNA was found on several items in the apartment, including a comforter and a towel in the bathroom. Prosecutor Mike Radmer told the jury Westrom's assault was premeditated and he was determined to kill Childs. The defense attorney representing Westrom pointed the finger at another man, her pimp who lived in the apartment. Some of his hairs were found in her hand. Steve Meshbesher attempted to poke holes in the state's case, calling the evidence circumstantial and based on assumptions. He says they have the wrong guy. According to court documents, the defense wanted to introduce five alternate perpetrators into evidence. The judge allowed one. That man is now dead. The prosecution called a friend of his to the stand who testified they were on an out-of-town motorcycle trip during the murder. In Minneapolis, Jennifer Mayerly, WCCO 4 News. Westrom pleaded guilty to trying to hire a prostitute in a 2015 case. The judge told the jury that he expects this trial to go through the middle of next week.